Have you ever asked for help from a greater being when you're playing around the goal? Well, if you're anything like me, then the answer is quite often. Today's challenge comes from the aptly named Priestman course here at Slady Hall. But well, I just pray to God that this golf course doesn't get the better of me in today's man versus golf hole challenge. Right, that is my three warm up holes complete. And what I've seen so far, it looks a decent setup here in the Priestman. But I've been told that my first challenge lies just over there, which is a par five. It's the fourth, and I can see a lot of water. 3,500 yards, it's all downhill. Like I said, we've got a lot of water to worry about. I don't think off the tee shot, although we are in a very elevated position. It's uh, low in the stroke index, I get a shot. Let's just see if we can get this first tee shot away. Nice and easy, downhill, come on. Oh, that's a great start. Well, the water's not gonna affect it anyway because we've stayed to the right of it. Nah, that's a way short anyway. And it's a decent start. All right, this is a real interesting one because um, the flag is 204, which we've got that shot in the bag, but there's a lot of water down the left-hand side. And if I hit my sort of chosen route, which would be a little bit of a left to right, I'd be taking the water's edge on. This is, after all, a match play. I'm playing against the course. I'm going at the bunker to the right with a seven iron. Many of you will consider that to be a bailout. And you'd be absolutely right. Oh, and that is such a sweetly struck iron. Don't go in it. <laughs> I don't think, I did a yardage to see how far that bunker was. It's in the shadows, but for a minute there, I thought I might have gone in it because I hit that so pure. But I think if my yardages are correct, I shouldn't have been able to reach it. We're doing well so far. Well, you could say we got away with one because we are literally a couple of yards away. I think when I came out of the tree line, we were certainly playing downwind, which maybe I hadn't accommodated for, but well, we got away with one. My playing course just nearly backfired. Anyway, we're in good position here. Let's see if the chipper can get me a chance of birdie. Didn't want to catch that first cutter rough. Supposed to fly it further. Not the best of efforts. We've got a roll at birdie, but not the one I should have from there. Right, not the best of shots. Chipper let me down for once. Can the putter help me out? We've got a, an awkward one. Uphill, right to left. Quite severe uphill. Roll out, roll out. Oh, do you know what? What a decent effort that was. Well, that was very close to birdie. I'll just make sure. Yeah, we got a par on what was a real nice hole that barring one shot, I played really well to be fair. And that's me, one up. Right next up on the challenge is hole eight. It's another par five. I don't get a shot on this one and we're going straight back into the breeze. It's a strange old chopped off finish there. Really tried to stay and flight that one lower into this breeze. It's done okay, I think, and uh, well, we're certainly in the first cut. You know, we'll take that as the starting point. I've got a feeling the further we go up this hole, the more trouble I might get into. Okay, so drive was okay. Um, ah, we're uphill, and like I said, a lot of breeze. I'm gonna play a four DHY and hopefully give me some, we seem a long way from the hole. Um, but I'm hoping again, just to keep this one flighted, maybe a bit lower down and lean into this, uh, lean into this hill a little bit, cause I'm on a bit of an uphill lie. It's working against me, right, come on. I'll see it still popped up, no matter how much I try to lean forward on that one. Let's just say we're making our way up there. I certainly again, didn't get that pure as you can tell from the strike. And I still think we've got a fair old way to go with uh, a bit of a tree to uh, try and find our way around. Right, what have we got? 127, I mean, we can go straight to the tree. It's not getting in my way at all. So uh, yeah, I think we've sort of, we've plodded our way up here and I could do with one decent shot because those two were, uh, well, they were sort of okay. 
Right, so 129 uphill into a breeze. I'm going to play seven iron, and even then, I'm concerned that that breeze is still good. I don't want this sort of getting up too high, otherwise, again, this is just going to hover a bit. Just drifting out to the right. Sit down and bounce. Do you know why it hovered? It did exist. Can't believe how strong the wind is. It just held in the air a little bit, and I think that we're short right. We're making hard work of this, but the conditions in golf, the elements, they just change things up so middle, uh, so much. This is, don't forget, stroke index 12, and I found the par five downhill down breeze so much easier than what I'm finding this. Right, I have well and truly uh, short-sided myself here because if I'd known now where the pin is in terms of relationship to the green and the bunker, I'd have played a lot longer club and gone behind the flag because I've now left myself uh, not a great situation for up and down and if this goes past the flag it's running a mile away it was a severe slope after the hole stop talking just bounce forward oh do you know what that was almost perfection I love that shot it was a brave and bold one I threw it up in terms of that 60 and uh, yeah, it's obviously just landed dead. But believe me, it's better than where it could have gone. Right, so we've got, I don't know, six, seven, eight feet, whatever that is. Um, and don't forget, this is, this is match play. We've got, I get no shot. So it's uh, a put for a halve is what I'm looking at. I'm reading a big swing again, you know. Well, a big swing for a short put. Yes, really pleased with that. Again, two really good shots in terms of the 60 and the putt. The other three were okay, but it doesn't matter because we've halved it again and we're down to the wire. Right, I'm playing every hole in between on this uh, challenge and uh, I've got to say I'm just playing down the 10th now. It's a real interesting layout, a little bit wider this course and more forgiving than that of the hunting course, less tree lined, almost like Heathlandy in places, really enjoyable to play and uh, I've enjoyed every bit of it. Like I said, I'm just playing down 10 and uh, I'll try and show you a bit more in between of the, uh, of the course along the way. The green looks well be better with my ball in the middle of it. Oh, and you've leaked that out. That's not good. Thank God this isn't a challenge hole. Right, okay, they said they have saved the best to last in terms of this challenge. It's our last hole of the trip as well, to be honest with you. We're going down 18. I know from the map I'm looking at, there's some water to the left and perhaps in front of the green. After that, I have no idea. We're going with driver. I've been hitting this thing well today. So, I mean, down the middle, there's nothing as far as I can see in terms of bunkers. Um, it's whether or not we can get a straight drive away and leave uh, a good position in with the, hopefully with an iron. Come on, and last shot, last drive of the day. Oh, and best, get in. The other thing I love about man versus golf is it concentrates the mind a little bit and uh, you can go a bit sloppy towards the end of a round. I know I can at least anyway. Fatigue starts to kick in, but uh, that just switched me back on again. My worry is now that I can't see my ball and that pond is getting ever closer. Maybe it wasn't driver off the tee. I can't believe this. Oh, we have a ball. Oh my word. That is not driver off the tee, let me tell you. I don't know how far I've hit that, and that's without doubt the best drive of the day, but that is too close to the water. Right, can you see it, camera lady? Because yeah. that, uh, that is too close. 84 to the flag. Do you know what, that was 391 off the tee. We are downwind, but that was 300 yard plus drive because I just seen someone play this and they were way back. I'm just saying how good that drive was, but I must have kicked on the top of the hill and bounded down. Do not take driver on 18, and certainly not in the summer. Okay, so, um, the only issue we've got overhanging branches. Off camera, I've changed club a couple of times. I'm going with 60 wedge, and uh, it's gonna go over the top of the branches, hopefully. At least that's the plan. Land soft, let's get this yardage right. 
be right because that's right on it sit down oh. well hopefully I mean I can't judge distance but it's uh, in terms of visually but that's it's an I've got a chance of birdie at least okay so the wedge has just come up a tad short which I had a fear that it might 60 degree was always asking a bit much we need a bit of help with the wind but um we're okay I certainly wouldn't want to be through the green or the other side of this uh, flag rather because the big slope falling off this is very much a one shot shootout because I don't think I mentioned I've got no shot so a birdie for the win two for the half give it a chance and no you've given it absolutely no chance whatsoever and unfortunately that's a par but it's a decent par and to be honest with you it's been a great few days i've really enjoyed the priestman course here today but a great few days at slaley hall talking that priest man i never really needed to give him a call in terms of exercising any demons either because uh, i played reasonably well again today but that's it we're finished we're moving on from slaley hall man versus golf hole challenge that goes a bit further down south i'll see you next week <laughs>